Hey guys, um, as you probably already know, if you have a Kawasaki uh, motorcycle, is that the key, um, the key that the bike came with, or the ignition key, tends to get stuck. So, if you see what I'm talking about, like, I, I won't be able to turn the key on that easily when I insert the key. And of course, I have different pairs of keys and all of them doesn't work. Um, the key itself is fine. Uh, they all have very fine tooth and uh, actually this one is fairly new. I haven't used this key much But as you can see it doesn't turn so It's a common problem with Kawasaki motorcycles and uh, uh, There are of course a few fixes and today I want to demonstrate one of the fix um, Which might work and might not because I've I've seen the video of the similar fix and I decided to try it myself and say if it works or not so see the problem is that it won't turn on it would it would be able to go to lock so if I just lock it's fine so lock to off is totally fine but then it just wouldn't turn on and uh, I have to wriggle really really hard somehow to uh, to make the bike turn on see and it's it's very frustrating because if you're in a hurry and you want to go <laughs> and the bike just wouldn't turn on um, so I'll try again, see, get stuck. So, okay, the fix I've read from a lot of uh, videos is the graphite uh, lubricant. And this is actually specifically made for locks. So it's a fine powder. And uh, basically it works for a lot of things that uh, needs constant lubrication. Um, so direction is shake well, remove cap, snip off the tube with scissor and insert a tip into the key slot and just squeeze all the stuff into the key slot. Um, so apply carefully because it's kind of a dark material uh, used only on a washable surface. Okay, so uh, and of course uh, be careful because I think I think it have lead inside. So wash your hands after use. Um, but this 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 should work so hopefully it will get my problem fixed because i don't want my key to not be able to turn on okay so i'm gonna take it out and i probably have to go find a scissor and this is a very common uh, graphite lubricant um, I got it from Ace Hardware, less than two dollars. So I'll turn it on. Okay, let me go find a scissor. All right, um, I'm back with the scissor. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a small tip off. Of course, remove the key and get the tip off. So here you go, here's the tip, and I'm going to push it in all the way. Hopefully it opens and just start squeezing. And it looks like I didn't push it in all the way. I don't know, for some reason it doesn't go in. So it's kind of hard to push. Let me zoom in. All right, so see a lot of stuff is, uh, is left outside. So as you can see, the key is kind of dirty now, but I'm still gonna give it a try. I think I was able to get it open a little bit. So let's see. I'm gonna squeeze some more. Oops. Nope. It all came out. So let me find a way to um, just shove those powders in with my, um, of course, with my original key. Uh, hopefully, most of them will go in.
and I can already feel like a lot of resistance um, inside. And I hope this doesn't mess up my ignition um, completely. But I'll still be able to turn it on. And if it all fails, um, I guess just wash it off and use some water. Because at this point, at this point, I think my key is totally stuck. That works a little bit. It's exactly the same as before. Not that easy to turn on. So yeah, I still need to wriggle, which kind of sucks. Alright, so. I'm going to try to apply a little more. Of course, I'm going to try to make the, the angle of the tip more dramatic. So hopefully the tip will be able to push it open. So I made the angle wider. Now I'm gonna to try to push again. Let's see if it works. That little door just wouldn't open, which sucks. So I guess uh, again, still doesn't work. I need to shove all those in like manually with my key. But I guess it works. So I'm just gonna <laughs> apply a little and shove it in. Alright. Again, this is a method I've read on the internet and seen in some videos. I just want to test it out to see if it works. Obviously, I think. For my application, it probably doesn't work. Okay guys, after about 10 minutes, uh, now my lock is uh, actually completely failed. Uh, I think the next step for me would be to use the water to flush it away and uh, hopefully it will bring back some of the functionality. And I would advise you guys to um, avoid this method unless you are 100% sure that your lock would be fixed with um, with, uh, with this graphite lubricant. Um, in my case, that does not work. Okay. So again, I'm gonna wash it off with water and try to see. Hopefully, uh, it will bring back my lock. Because right now, I can't even turn from the lock to off. As I showed in the video before, I was able to turn. Um, before from lock to off and off to lock and now I, I am not able to so I think my lock is kind of screwed up hey guys so guess what I used to uh, fix my ignition key wouldn't turn on properly uh, see if right now it's working perfect it is definitely not not with this it doesn't work uh, when I put this in my ignition um, it actually uh, all stuck in there and I wouldn't be, be able to turn my ignition at all not not on, not only from to the on position but also to the off position that I wasn't able to turn um, so what I actually used to fix the problem uh, okay I'll show you guys right now it's almost it's almost perfect so I can turn it on and then I can just turn it on so I can turn it to off and then turn it on from the lock 
uh, super easy. Um, it's much much easier than before. Still a little sticky, but it works a lot better. So what I used it is um, carburetor cleaner. So basically, I just uh, um, I use a little nose, I stick it in here, and I, I just flushed everything out, like flushed everything from the inside out. So since I already cleaned it, I'll just do a demo. So I use the um, a uh, workshop <coughs> towel to just hold it there so the water doesn't splash all over. And I just do this. So it flushed all the stuff out, including the the little powder loop can I put inside, like there. Um, and I think it probably cleared up uh, whatever was stuck in there that wouldn't allow me to turn on the ignition. So now it works perfect. So right now I'm just uh, flushing it a little more because I want it to be able to work perfect. So after this flushing, I may at the very end just add a little bit of this to make sure that it, the key goes in smooth and it's able to turn. Um, but the actual, the proper way to fix the stuck ignition, uh, if your ignition is not already like rusted up, it was just from some foreign objects inside that's blocking it from turning on, use a uh, carburetor cleaner. It's cheapest way and it's quickest way. So I'm gonna keep flushing. Just flush all the nasty and bad stuff out. So steer a little left. When I did it the first time, actually a lot of black stuff came out. Uh, and right now it's, it's much more clear. So I would say this, this method definitely worked for me. So uh, not the uh, powder lubricant, which, which didn't work for me. All right, so there you have it, um, problem solved. And of course now I can just turn it on, like super easy. There's no hesitation, there's no stuck. So, um, and I think at the very end, I'm gonna take my battery out and just do a few more turns to make sure that it's super smooth. Because right now I don't want to turn it on and off and on and off. The damage is um, electric components, okay? So there you have it, um, there's your fix. Make sure you get yourself some uh, carburetor cleaner and clean it first. If this doesn't work, and uh, try, I guess, the, uh, the powder lubricant method. And if that also doesn't work, um, you might need to just get a new set of ignition keys. Um, so hopefully this video helped you guys. Um, if you have any questions or problems, um, just uh, comment down in the comment section, and I'll try my best to um, help answer for you guys. Again, thank you so much and uh, take care.